So Fresh Baked, I'm sure you've probably heard on Wednesday, power went out at Disneyland, specifically in the areas around Fantasyland and Toontown. And as a result, an ABC News chopper was sent out there to, you know, get some footage of it, get some things not happening. I'm not sure why you sent a helicopter, but anyway, I'm glad they did. Because we have about 16 plus minutes of one of a kind footage, aerial footage of all over Disneyland. It's the kind of stuff that that I dream about. I want, I've said often that one of the things that I love most about going to the parks, one of my hobbies, is to try to find different ways to see uh, to see the park, i.e., parades from the monorail, fireworks from Big Thunder, that kind of thing. So I, I like to see unique vantages, unique views of the crowds, or I mean, of the park. So this is like. Any attraction that will, I mean, it's once in a lifetime, really, to get this much aerial footage of Disneyland. Because uh, normally you're not even allowed to fly over the park. So that's what we're going to do for the next, rather than talk about, you know, the power outage, which I guess is a story in and of itself. But, I mean, really, what am I going to say about that? The power went out. Uh, it was a very busy day. I'm sure it sucked for everyone. <laughs> but I'm more interested in, in, in just sort of gushing over over the views of Disneyland that we're about to see. And we're going to take the full 16 minutes and just kind of observe. Um, like, for example, there's this little this slow flyover of a small world. I'm sure what they're doing right now is trying to see if anything's working. Because uh, Small World, I mean, uh, Fantasyland was one of the areas affected by the outage, obviously. Uh, and now we can see, there we go, yeah, there it looks like power's on. Those the little uh, the little pre-show, the fifteen-minute pre-show type deal is working there. So, uh, I guess they're going to spend the next fifteen minutes just flying around. <laughs> and thank goodness, thank goodness for ABC. Thank goodness for the cameraman uh, and what you know. Well, I don't know who it was. If it was the cameraman or the guy on air speaking who is obviously a Disneyland fan because they go to places that are not fancy land in two town and they look at everything because they know what an opportunity they have and they took advantage of it. Uh, so we'll just kind of watch and, and, and see what we can observe. Looks like maybe the Small World thing was rebooting a little bit, but I'm not sure. Look at that. Golly. Just beautiful. Just to think, the whole ride, you think you're in that facade, but you're not. Just like in Haunted Mansion, you think you're in that little, you know, the white building, the white facade. You think you're in there, but it's really that huge cavernous building behind it that you're going through. Fantastic. If we get a chance, let's see. Yeah, if he pulls out, okay, I'm going to pause right here. Small World is not this. Small World is in there, which is just great. Likewise, right next to it, that's Toontown, which will come out here. Uh, likewise, uh, you know what? I'm not even sure what part of that, you know, that's Roger Rabbit, you know, the orange and white sections there. That's Roger Rabbit. I'm not sure what parts of that are Q. Or if the if the show building extends to those you know the admin type buildings behind there, there's a crowd forming out in front of the fire station. I wonder why. Oh, we might get a look at backstage here. Wouldn't that be something? And by the way, we'll pause if we get any kind of look at Star Wars Land, of course, because we're very close to it right now. Uh, it's just over. It's right behind us, actually. It's right behind the camera, Star Wars Land is. There's uh, Gadget's Go Coaster. That looks fun. Some folks having a good time in there, so that's obviously working. And that's the, see, that's the rear facade right there for Toontown. Literal feet. That dirt you're looking at is Star Wars Land dirt. Here we go. Here we go. Pull back. <laughs> you can do it. Uh, no, he's drifting left. That's one of the admin buildings right there, that white building. That's one of the admin buildings. Uh, all right, so no, no chance there. 
This I haven't really watched this guy, by the way, guys. So this is you're gonna. I'm. I, I don't know what I'm gonna see here, which is kind of fun for everyone. See, he just keeps going in and out like this because he 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 wants to see. You know, he's not looking for things <laughs> working or not working. I don't think. I cannot believe they did this for 15 minutes, man. Oh my goodness, just. These guys have to be Disney fans. They uh, Okay, we're pulling out. Let's see. Do I need to pause here? Yeah, you can see the two admin buildings there. And, oh. Okay. Uh, hang on. We're going to pause right. As soon as it get, reaches its widest, he's pulled full wide. Oh, there we go. Let's pause right there. That's a pretty decent look. I, obviously, we're not going to get any detail. But what I do want to note is that there are... They, it looks like they're topping, they're they're putting roofs on the, uh, you know, the 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 village. I guess is what they're calling it, the marketplace. That section right there between Millennium Falcon and the dirt, and then right there in the middle of that dirt, that's the that's the marketplace. And it, the shots that we just looked at yesterday, the uh, aerial fo the aerial shots that we got that were taken a few weeks ago, were just steel. Today it looks like they've got there there are roofs now being put in or have been put in on the marketplace. So that's cool. We can't really see much else other than that, but you do get an idea of uh, what's happening there. Let's continue. He is now he's now leaving the park a little bit. Okay, that's Utopia where the trees are, and he's heading into the Finding Nemo Lagoon. And this is what I mean. He, uh, he, he this is not a, this area was not affected as far as I know. Everything here was working as normal. So he's just looking around now. <laughs> He's just looking around. Oh, Autopia. That's obviously not going to be affected. Those are gas vehicles, so you know those guys are having a good time still. Monorail, Matterhorn. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Okay, settle down. Settle down, Mr. Camera. Jeez. He's, it's like he's looking for something. What is he looking for? Park monorail. Nothing much going there. I don't. I don't remember if I saw any subs going, but I would imagine this area was not affected. It looks like it. Sh or I would think it was business as usual in Tomorrowland. That's beautiful. Seeing all this, it's like a, it's like an ecosystem. You know, when you're in it, it's it's difficult to to comprehend or to appreciate the the large scaleness of the whole property and how the whole thing just kind of flows together and works together. And uh, it, it is like its very own ecosystem. Wow. All right, where to next? Chopper one. <laughs> that is the Innoventions building, lower right corner, that round building there. Hopefully soon to be destroyed within the next year or two. <laughs> I have no reason to believe that. It's probably not, but I mean, that's just wishful thinking. But you get a good idea. You know, let's pause here for a second. I've often wondered, what can or can't you put in Innoventions? Uh, what kind of attraction would fit? I always thought that that wasn't a big enough space to fit anything of reasonable size but just looking at that that is an enormous building you could you could fit a complete roller coaster in there and that space and that footprint I, I don't know about the building itself people want to talk about using the building for something i i feel like they should just level the whole thing and 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 start something from scratch there but i you know that's just my opinion because I, I i feel like nothing has ever really ever worked in that building in terms of an attraction so I don't know, but that is a pretty big space, and you could fit something useful in there. Looks like he's going to pull even wider. It's about the same size as Space Mountain. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Going right into the hub now. There we go. Pretty packed. Look at the... Oh, my goodness. It's like an ant farm. Woo! So many people. That is a lot, by the way. If you're wondering if that's a lot, yes, that is a lot. Good heavens. It looks like you can see uh, in the left in the left part of the frame or left third, 
that they're getting ready to put up a, one of those monitors for the New Year's, New Year's Eve celebration. They'll have a monitor up there, you know, with a view of whatever. I don't know, but uh, I, I, they'll probably have some live live performances there or something to that effect. Look at that. That is just so many people. Look, oh my gosh, look at the, the exit side of Tomorrowland. That is packed full of people right there. That's difficult to get through. Astro Orbiter is now taking off. I don't, I don't know what the speech is there. <laughs> Seeing Astro Orbiter from this angle is really fun, doesn't it? Doesn't that look fun? Don't you want to be down there right now in one of those jets? Being uncomfortably close to whoever you're with. <laughs> or comfortably close, depending on, you know, whatever the situation may be. Astro Jet or Astro Orbiter is for lovers. Uh, that's what I always say. Uh, okay, oh, there's Star Wars Land again. But, yeah, this is about the same. The only thing worth noting there is the tops of those, uh, the Marketplace buildings. So we're back in Toontown. Uh, or Fantasyland, I should say. Uh, he's going, that looks like, yeah, that's uh, Storybook Land right now. I don't see any boats in there. They're probably going to get that going here soon, I'm sure. Just how close together everything is. I mean, that, and it's a miracle that you don't hear or sense the other attractions more than we do. They do a brilliant job of buffering the sound and the sights of all the name ring. Because these things are so impossibly close to each other. It's just, it, I just can't get over it. Wow. I mean, you hear sort of the ambient sound of the crowds and, you know, people screaming or laughing or whatever, but you don't really, there's not a lot of, I don't know, of the actual attractions intruding on each other. Like when you're at Knott's Berry Farm, all those coasters, we were trying to watch the stunt show and the <laughs> the silver bullet kept flying by and you could hear it and it was loud and it was completely incongruent with what you were watching, you know, with the with the Old West stunt show. KC Junior Railroad looks pretty empty. Yeah, it looks like they haven't they haven't launched Star Wars or uh, Storybook Land yet. I don't know why that matters. I'm <laughs> we're here to observe, but um, yeah, it looks like the Dumbo queue is actually empty. Oh, oh, oh! He found some cast members back there backstage. We're gonna get a look backstage. There's a stopped train in the track. It's empty. They've already so the guests have uh, been escorted off the off the tracks already. So you've got a uh, see. Oh, by the way, look. Let's look here. You can see the cast members in the top left walking around, and there's a little gap next to the blue train car. That's where that's where cast members come in and out. Uh, that's backstage behind that area. Um, so that's pretty neat. A little backstage look right there. See that gap right there. That's where that's where cast members can come in and out. Can't really tell if anything of note is happening backstage, but you did see some cast members back there. Look at this just long, sexy shot of Fantasyland right here. Hella camera you got there, buddy. <laughs> Full, oh, wait, hold on. We might have some Star Wars land to see. Not really, no. He went right back into Main Street. How do the crowds look on Main Street? Pretty thick. That is a, that is a thick crowd right there as well. Wow. And those trees right there do a, another amazing job of separating Main Street from Jungle Cruise, which is literally... 50 feet from the back side of Main Street right there. That's all that stands between Main Street, those Main Street buildings, and the Jungle Cruise are the, is that row of trees. If he pulls wide enough, you'll even see what I mean. Nope, couldn't get wide enough. Well, right there, the lower third, that's the, jung that's the uh, Jungle Cruise queue right there, I think. Well, you know what? It's funny. I, I said you can't see it because it's not because uh, it wasn't a wide enough shot. It's that the trees are just so full that you can't. There is river in there. You just can't see it. Good heavens! Woo! <laughs> I'm 
I just can't get over how, how many people that is. Did you guys see the coverage from Mountain from Magic Kingdom on Christmas Day? Oh my goodness. That street was full, comparatively speaking. That street would have been just full of people. You would not have seen very much blacktop at all. It's like an attra it's like being on the Skyway, except instead of just going from, you know, point A to point B, you're going through the whole alphabet. <laughs> All points can be included. Look at that. That is beautiful. Woo. I love Disneyland. Even with all those people. Yeah, you could just tell that this is this is now a love letter that this uh, that the the cameraman and the and the on air guy are probably I don't even know if they're saying anything like I said I'm, or if they're saying anything what it could be because this part has nothing to do with wow okay let's pause here let's try to identify some stuff that's the Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters attraction right there that's Star Tours on the left um, that is the Plaza and the in between that's backstage right here that's the in between I don't know where the I've never seen it. I just know it's there. I know they call it the in between because it's in between Star Wars Land. I mean, uh, Star Wars Land. In between Tomorrowland and Main Street, there's a space in between those two lands where where cast members hang out. And there's a there's a uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a you know a restaurant or whatever. So that's pretty cool. And then there's there's now let's pause again. Uh, castle right here in the middle. And then these are on the right. That's those are the show buildings for Peter Pan. And Mr. Toads, and then you got uh, Snow White, and Pinocchio. Oh boy, fantastic! It's just weird. The, the job that they do of selling it is so good that you can't imagine that you're in. Whoa, where are we go? Are we going to? Whoa! <laughs> are we going to California Adventure? What are we doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Okay, that's the main. That's the old main entrance right there. That's the, um, the you know, the bus drop off, etc. There's their main gate right there. That's the main gate. Uh, he's flying. That's California Soren right there, or Soren over the world. Yeah, he's gonna push in here. Monorail track and the main entrance. There's the Floral Mickey and the Disneyland Railroad. Look at that crowd coming out of the tunnel. Wow. Oh, here comes a train. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's fantastic. Now arriving. <laughs> Way to go, cameraman. I love you. Fresh baked and stuff, buddy. Look at that. I'd like to see if you can get over Jungle Cruise proper, but it's pretty well covered with trees. But that would be pretty neat to see if we can see a boat going through one of the rivers. But it, it's doubtful. Wow. 60 years ago, that was nothing but orange groves. 65 years ago. He is going to go over to the Jungle Cruise area. Yeah, there's just nothing. You can see nothing but trees there. Haunted Mansion, Indiana Jones. That double show building right there is for Indiana Jones. Wow. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty fun. I, 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 I cannot believe how lucky we were to get that. Um, never mind that it was due to a power outage. That was just some good old... Good old Disneyland fun right there. Uh, that's the kind of views we won't get again for who knows how long. But that was pretty great. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Fresh baked and stuff. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh baked!